Hey guys, Alex here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. That was terrible. So I recently filmed this uh, short video which is basically inspired by the film Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. I'm not going to have this bitch and a scoundrel of a brother coming into my town telling me what to do. I love this film, it's amazing, it's everything. I will leave the link to this video in the description down below in case you want to check it out. So after I posted this video, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I did all the special effects because um, there was a few of them in the video. So I came up with this brilliant idea <laughs> to film uh, a five part series where I will be covering all of them. Well, not all of them, most of them. And yeah, this is, this is the first of them. In this first part, we'll be creating a realistic black eye effect. This effect is actually used a lot in different music videos, films, etc. For example, you might have seen it in Billie Eilish, uh, Bury a Friend music video, or Melanie Martinez, Matt Hatter. Yeah, I think it's called Matt Hatter. But before we open the After Effects, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment, maybe even share it, and turn on the not notification bell <laughs> to not miss any of my future uploads. And yeah, let's let's start. I don't know what that was, so. Okay guys, so we're in After Effects now, and before we uh, get to the editing stuff, I just want to give you guys some tips on how to achieve better results with this effect. So first of all, I would usually ask my actor not to blink where we're filming this, uh, and trust me, this will save you a lot, a lot of time in editing, uh, because if the person blinks, then you would have to uh, animate the mask and all that stuff, and you know, yeah, it, it, it just saves a lot of time. So. Um, unless I need uh, a specific shot of someone blinking or moving a certain way, I would just usually do that. And one more thing, for uh, this specific effect, it would be really great if you can um, take a picture or video of what is in front of you. Uh, we will need this clip for uh, to make a realistic reflection later. So for example, in my case, I filmed this short video uh, of some trees and stuff just to uh, you know, use it later in editing. So as you guys can see here, I have a short clip of Francesca just looking at the camera with this angry expression and not blinking, of course. <laughs> By the way, don't forget to check her page out. She's amazing and she's very talented and I really, really enjoyed working with her. Obviously, I will leave all the links in the description down below. So yeah. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to click on the layer and then go to the tracker panel. Then you'll see that After Effects open this uh, window and what you have to do here is you have to click on the track motion button and select a spot in your uh, frame that really stands out. For example, I chose this reflection in the eye because it's uh, white and uh, very contrasty with the black if that makes sense. So basically uh, it will just make it easier to track the footage. When you do that, just go to layer, new, null object and then uh, click on the edit target button and select uh, the layer that we just created. Now just go ahead and press the play button and basically After Effects will do the job for you. When the tracking is done, press apply, select X and Y and click OK. Okay, great, we can just leave this layer for now and let's go ahead and create a new solid layer. Uh, we can choose black as a color and click OK. Change the opacity of the layer to around 2 or 3%, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point of this is just so that uh, you can see the layer while you are creating a mask. Speaking of masks, let's select the pen tool and draw a mask around the eye. Once you do that, you can change the opacity of the layer back to 100%. Now, as you can see, the edges are too sharp and not realistic right now. So what you can do is open the mask properties and feather it out to around seven or 8%. It might be different for your footage though. Change the blending mode to overlay and duplicate the layer. 
For the next step, we'll need this reflection photo or video that I was talking about previously. However, if you forgot to take it during your shoot, then don't worry, you can just find something online that kind of matches your environment. As you can see, I filmed a video, so what I'm doing here is I'm looking for the footage to find uh, the best frame. And what I do next is I select Time Freeze Frame. Now since we're using this layer as a reflection, we need to make it more realistic, so what I will do is I will go to the Effects and Presets panel and I will type in CC Sphere. When you apply this effect to the layer, you will see that obviously it becomes a sphere and uh, it, this should be pretty close to how the reflection in the eye would actually look. All you have to do now is just play around with the settings to find what works better for your clip. I personally changed the rotation settings and uh, the light settings because uh, when I applied the effect to the layer there was some harsh shadows and stuff so basically I made uh, the lighting soft and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. I will now bring down the scale to match the size of the eye and I will position the subject on top of the eye. So next I select all three layers and hide them temporarily. Uh, then I go to layer, new solid layer, and choose the white color this time. Just like we did with the black solid layer, I will bring down the opacity to around 2 or 3% to clearly see the footage. We will use this white solid layer for the reflections in the eye, so using the pen tool, I will draw a rough mask around the reflections. Bring the opacity of the layer back to 100%. And once you're done with that, you can select these three layers and make them visible again. Click on the reflection layer and change the blending mode to alpha. I will also go to the mask properties on my white solid layer and feather the mask out of around 2% uh, just to make the edges a little smoother because they are too sharp now. Great, that's looking pretty good and I'll just change the blending mode of the layer to classic color dodge. Then I will duplicate my white solid layer and make it visible. And I duplicate the same layer one more time, but this time I will change the blending mode to add. I will bring the opacity down to around 25-30% just so it's not that harsh. And again, you can just play around with the settings and see what works better for your clip because, you know, obviously it will be different. Okay, cool. We're almost done. I'll just select all the layers except uh, the original clip and the null object. Parent all these layers to the null object so that your black eye moves along with the footage. And there you go, it already looks pretty good, we're literally almost done. Um, the only thing is, I just feel like something is missing here. Uh, so what we will do is we will go to Layer, New, and Adjustment Layer. Great, now let's go to the Effects and Presets panel and find the Curves effect. Here we want to make our clip a lot darker and more contrasted. Okay, that is great, but I don't really like what it does with the color. So we will go to our effects and presets panel again and search for the color balance effect. Here I'll just make the clip a little more green and add some blues into the highlights. I'll also apply the selective color effect to this layer and uh, play around with the settings for the reds. So I'll just desaturate it a little bit and all that stuff. And the last thing I want to do is find the vibrance effect and apply it to this layer as well. So I'll just lower the saturation a little bit more here. Now the reason we just did all of this is because we want to make the area around the eye a little darker. So you know there's like more shadows and all that kind of stuff. It will make our black eyes effect a little more realistic because it will help to sort of blend in the effect if that makes sense. I'm pretty happy with this, so I'll just go ahead and select the rounded rectangle tool in the masks. Now I'll just draw an oval mask on the eye and adjust it a little bit to make it smoother. What you want to do next is you want to go to the mask properties and feather it a lot to make it realistic. I will leave it at around 100. And finally, you just want to change the opacity of the layer to around 55% or something like that to make it even cooler. <laughs> Now just parent this layer to the null object as well, and here you go, you're done with this effect. Now you can just repeat this whole process with the other eye, and uh, it will actually be a lot easier because you can even copy paste some effects as you already did them. 
For example, you can duplicate the adjustment layer and just delete the mask and draw a new one around the other eye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to motion track uh, your original clip again uh, and just select the area on your other eye. Um, yeah, so I just, I pretty much did the same thing. Uh, so I just selected the reflection uh, on the other eye and the motion tracker did a pretty good job. So. You know that's that's all you need to do and yeah that is our final look um if you want you can also just add some color grading or something like that and uh you should be able to get something like this all right guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that i was helpful <laughs> um but yeah if you liked it again don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment share and turn on the notification bell. <laughs> In the next video, I'll be talking about how to professionally uh, remove the green screen. And yeah, make sure to check it out, especially if you're working with uh, the footage that is not really perfect in terms of uh, your green screen is not completely green. There is like a lot of shadows and everything because uh, that was the case with me. But I did make it work and I will be sharing the tips and tricks in the next video, so. Hope to see you there. <laughs> and again, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.